For you guys that followed my Computex adventure in Taiwan, Taipei this year, I think you noticed this case. This is the Antex P20C in white and complete white. So there's literally nothing black, the rims, interior, rubber grommets or anything. It's complete white case. And this is what I love because in terms of sometimes, sometimes because manufacturers are now getting the sense of it and the hang of it, uh, People who want white case, they want it completely white. They don't want to have the black rims on the tempered glass unless you have black rubber grommets, you have some black lines on the chassis and stuff like that. This one is completely white. So we have the front grille, you have the tempered glass. Everything is in one single color. And when you take into consideration even the dust filters, everything is nicely arranged in a single color. There's not too much of a difference you really need to take a closer look to notice the difference in colors and that's it that's the only thing but since i already reviewed p20c and this is p20 white there's uh, nothing too much to add to that but we're going to i'm going to do a build which unfortunately i still don't have a white gpu so it will have to be a combination of something to give you um Nice visual aspects of the build, let's put it that way. But uh, this case, the Antec P20, comes with three fans on front, which aren't RGB, so complete white as well. We have standard design, we have two uh, thumb screws here on the side to access the inner part of the chassis. Here we go. Then uh, we have an opening here at the power supply shroud, we have possibility to place two 120 uh, fans on the power supply shroud. We have 360 on top, 360 on front. You could go 280 on both sides. Maybe we could squeeze three 140 at the front, but I'm not quite sure because it's a bit limited space when we're talking about that. But the cool thing, the fans are out of the main chassis, so you can place a radiator normally and have still loads of space for the GPU. Since I mentioned the GPU, you have an anti-sag bracket that has two thumb screws at the back, which will give you, of course, an option to adjust the height of it, which is really cool. And uh, what's there left to say? Additional bracket for the power supply. And at the back, as per usual, we have a shocker. Now, I didn't expect this, to be honest. When I mentioned complete uh, white case, I didn't expect to have white cables as well. So it's uh, really a really nice surprise to be honest, because I couldn't see this on Computex because the builds were placed in front and you don't have basically some sort of an access to go at the back. And after all, it's a solid panel, so you, I wouldn't be able to see it anyway. But we have complete white cables. You have the accessory box right here. We have at the top power on button, reset button, two indication lights, two USB type A, two 3.5 millimeter jack for your headset, for your microphone, and a USB type C. If you remember correctly, this case was uh, released, the P20C was released before the Performance One. And what I stated is that this case was the biggest advantage or progress from the past Antec cases. Because first of all, the visuals, then we have the Type-C cable, then we have loads of space inside the case. And they thought through literally everything, whether we're talking about rerouting the cables quite nicely, loads of standouts to use zip ties or velcro ties, velcro ties here, loads of uh, rubber grommets for your cable pass through and everything else. So basically I'm just going to repeat the thermals once again but with different components so let's build this uh, PC and check it out. What can I say I really enjoyed building in the Antex uh, P20C or the box actually doesn't have the C on it, so that's a bit uh, strange, but it says P20 uh, Performance Series and it has white ticked as a white color, but uh, in all media kits that I got, it actually says Antec to, uh, P20C. Regardless of that, the case is outstanding as the past black version that I reviewed and I really like the whole design, the interior, the white cables at the back going fully white, so basically everything is white inside this case except for the build that i did but that's a completely different story so let's check out the thermals this time we have intel core i5 13600k and as you can see intel arc a750 in a 64 the processor went up to 64 degrees celsius while the gpu went up to 69 degrees celsius uh cinebench r23 uh the g the cpu went up to 73 degrees celsius 
but it reached some outstanding scores so I would accept uh, that uh, thermals with the Vortex 360 and uh, basically in Corona 1.3 the processor went up to 67 degrees Celsius which is still quite alright and in some uh, normal terms uh, I would say quite alright. Now as you can see I paired it up with some uh, antic accessories which you will have uh, an additional video on the side to check out those as well. We have Vortex 360 but I placed on purpose the fusion fans in white so it kind of matches the whole color scheme and uh, hopefully you like the whole build giving it some more diversity and visual aspect but I hope you liked the build. Uh, the case regardless uh, it's outstanding and uh, really glad that Antec is pushing varieties of colors in their cases giving you guys some options and I really do love what I see here basically again thumbs up there's nothing left to add except what I said for the Antec P20C in black version this is what I'm saying again for the P20 white uh, I really love the case and that's all there is to it if you want the white version I'll place the links in the description for the Vortex 360 to pair it up with the uh, white version of the Antec P20 and I'll kick in some uh, fusion fans in white so you can pair it up as uh, as I did and that'll be all for today. Thank you for watching today's video if you liked it and if it helped you decide which color are you going to go don't forget to subscribe hit the like button and click the notification bell and hopefully guys I will see you very soon in another video. Thank you for watching bye bye.